Hello everyone. So in this uh, session, we will be learning about SOAP API using uh, uh, SOAP API and Postman, how we can make a retrieve request. Uh, okay, so before we begin, what is the use? Let's say there is some external application which consumes the uh, marketing cloud data, right? And uh, so this, uh, in this case, they will be using SOAP API uh, to retrieve those details, right? Uh, let's say informatica or some analytical tool right they want to consume the data view data like click bounce and all these things they can uh, retrieve those kind of reports uh, from marketing cloud directly uh, using uh, this this kind of api calls and in order to uh, like uh, replicate the uh, calls right we can use postman so as a first step i would say you need to go to set up and create a installed package uh, you can give your install like uh, a package a name and you need to create a component okay so you can uh, uh, create a component once you are uh, uh, have created your package so you can create a package of type api integration server to server and uh, once that is done you have to give permissions okay so make sure you give the minimum permission for example, in this use case, you can only give read and write permission of data extension, but uh, it's uh, like based on the use case, it will vary. Once that is done, right, you click on save and you will get the client ID secret and all the details. Now, uh, once you have those details, you can set those in your environment variables in Postman. Okay, so let's. Uh, you can go to sfmc postman collection okay the first link you can open okay so here once you are here you will find something called environment click on this marketing cloud okay so you will get this so here you can set your environment variables okay so you have, if you have postman you can just uh, go to your environment and click on plus icon and you can add your environment variables i have already done that I won't do that again, but you can do it in your uh, application. You just need to give the values in the current value fields, okay? And uh, that should work. Uh, you can take the subdomain, client ID, secret, and all this. MID, MID will get, uh, and all this. Uh, MID is the business unit ID. So all these details, you can put it here, and then you can just save it, okay? Once you have saved it, I think you are done with that. So now you can go to plug collections, here say there are multiple mules of Salesforce and all, but we are interested in marketing cloud. So come over here and you will find uh, this. So you have to go to rest and authentication. We want to authenticate first, right? So you will go over here. And now since you have all the environment variables set up, you can use this curly braces, right? You need not do it again, uh, putting those values. So directly you just copy this and uh, you can just click on plus uh, here you can paste this change to post and this is the request body so you can put it here and you can change this to json here you can make content type will be application json okay so now you have all this right so you can just click on send and you should uh, get an access token okay and it expires in this seconds and all this information but here you will get the access token which is what we need now you can click on a new tab we want to make a retrieve request you can do multiple type of request here in this case we will do soap request so you will click on soap data extension here there will be multiple options we'll click on retrieve data extension option okay so here you can click on this url and place it here and change this to post and body in this you will just copy the body and paste it here and headers you can put here header you can change this to xml you can put here headers like content type text xml and uh, here 
now you need to uh, et domain we already have that variable however we haven't set the variable for access token so we will enter that manually so the token we have got here right you can check that and you can put that uh, token here okay in the authentication place so once you are done with that now coming to the request body let's see what we are telling in the soap envelope that hey we are making a retrieve request what we want is the data extension and what uh, these are the parameters we want to fetch okay for this particular data extension where are the customer so here this is the filter we are telling that where the customer key equals and we will need a customer key so here i have my data extension i will take this customer key from here and i will place this customer key here okay now you can just click on send and if it works then you should get all the details which is my first d which is the name of our data extension here and the other details like whether it's sendable or not so it's showing is sendable is true which is this one so all these things information you can get okay like that you can also get the data which is there in the data extension in this uh, we have already got the data extension metadata or properties okay like the name of the data extension by the customer key but uh, you get the idea right so hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching we'll meet you in the next video